You're watching Tyler TV and I'm here with Bill Salyers. How are you doing? I'm doing just great. It's great. So you voice Rigby. That's right. From regular show. Um, how did you come up with that voice? Uh, you know, uh, the first lines, I didn't have a picture of them or anything, but the first lines I read were, um, they were the rock, paper, scissors competition from the episode uh, uh, first day, I think is what we ended up calling it. Um, and uh, the guys play quartz, parchment, shears, rock, paper, scissors. And uh, so the lines that I had on the script were things like, two ties, you don't know what I'm going to throw next, baby. And I didn't know, have any, I didn't have any, uh, any kind of uh, reference for the lines. They didn't tell me anything about the, the topic. They didn't tell me what it was about. Uh, but it sounded kind of angsty and nervous. So I just sort of imagined myself on too much coffee, and I went with two ties. You don't know what I'm going to throw next, baby. And uh, that's the voice that they ended up liking. Um, so Rigby has had so many really great quotes. What are the quotes that fans want you to repeat for them? Uh, definitely, ham boning will save your life someday. They really like that one. Yeah. So do you guys all record together or do you record your voices separately? We record together as much as possible. Uh, Mark Hamill's been gone a lot lately because he's doing some science fiction movie. Uh, but uh, <coughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. so, we, so we, uh, we record in the same room as much as we can and uh, that really gives it a sort of a, a lively, really happening feeling that uh, we all like. How long does it take to record your voices? To record the new episode usually takes about two hours, uh, sometimes three, depending on how intense it is. And then we um, uh, do what's called pickups, which are the, the, the uh, things that need to be re-recorded from the previous episodes. So it takes, the entire process is usually somewhere around four hours, four or five hours. Is there much improvisation that goes on during, during recordings? Almost none, uh, because of the nature of the, of the uh, of the format, the cartoon, we we don't we have to tell the story pretty succinctly. Um, so there's very little improvisation. We may uh, change a word here or a word there, uh, but we have to stick pretty close to the script. Are any of the actors allowed to pitch ideas to the writers? Yeah, I think it. I mean, it's a very sort of a low key uh, environment, so uh, we can certainly suggest things. They're okay with that. Have you ever suggested anything? Uh, you know, nothing major in terms of a plot point or anything, but uh, I might say, well, I don't think Rigby would use this word. I think he'd say this instead. You know, they'd, they might accidentally make him sound too smart or something, and so I'll speak up when something like that happens. So four characters that come in and that have maybe one word or so, um, how do all the actors like get those little roles? Do people just come to you and go, oh, can you say this word? what happens with the minor characters yeah the incidental characters well they're often uh, done by uh, somebody who's already there for something else um, I've done a lot of incidental characters so is JG so is Sam um, but we also have people who are kind of um, you might say utility players who are capable of doing a whole bunch of voices Roger uh, Craig Smith is one of those guys he uh, he originally played uh, Thomas the intern and he's also played uh, Margaret's father um, but we still have him back in, uh, even though Thomas is no longer a part of the show. We have him come back in all the time to do incidental voices. So the regular show movie I heard was um, being done while the show was still going. So was that hard doing the show and the movie at the same time? Yes. It, was, it wasn't as hard for me as it was for JG and the writers because they were doing double duty all the time. It did mean that, generally speaking, those, those four-hour days were, you know, uh, really, really packed. There was no such thing as getting out early because we usually had something to re-record on the film. Um, also, there were things that would come up that would be fine for the show that we couldn't have happen for the movie. Like, for instance, uh, I remember being mildly ill one time and I could still record the series because, as you know, if Rigby's voice is slightly gruffer in the course of an episode, you're not really going to notice it. But if it changes over the course of an hour and a half movie you're going to hear the difference. And so um, if, I was, if, if my voice sounded the slightest bit different, uh, they wouldn't be able to record it for the film. We'd have to wait. So how long does it take when you record the voice to when the episode is done? Oh, gosh, when it's done? Um, that turnaround seems to be about 
about five, six months. Yeah, you know, because it gets off, it goes off and gets animated, you know, things get redone. Uh, so between recording one and actually seeing it is usually quite some time. When you record the voice do you get to see um, a storyboard and stuff or do you just get the script um, I get both the script and the storyboard and I focus mainly on the storyboard because the script doesn't have any context you know there's no there's no pictures there's no context so I find that the storyboard is useful in a way that the script just is and I don't even read the script anymore oh. yeah because the lines are still on the storyboard plus you've got the context of the panels um, so what's coming up for a regular show well, you know, it's, it's interesting you should ask. The, um, the show I know airs on a different schedule here than it does in the States, but I can tell you that, that something big is coming that hasn't even happened in the States yet that's going to affect the, uh, the show in a big way. Can you uh, give a little hint? Uh, let's see, what could I... Uh, uh, I'll just say that um, it, it, it's, it involves more than just a simple change in character. Yeah, yeah. Something, something big, is major is going to happen to the guys. So, hopefully, regular show goes on for ages and ages. Hopefully, like The Simpsons, because that's been going for ages. But how would you like the last episode to end? Wow, that is a fantastic question. How would I like the last episode to end? Um, well, uh... I think as Rigby, he would probably like it to end with everybody realizing just how truly awesome he is. Nice. <laughs> that would actually be really cool. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I see all the time Rigby merchandise. Mm-hmm. Do you have any yourself? I have. I bought. Uh, there was. There was. Uh, I bought one of the figures to sign and auction off for the. Uh, uh, ALS Ice Bucket Challenge when that was going around because uh, people were raising money to fight uh, ALS and uh, so I bought a figure and signed it um, I have bought a couple of things just to have because I know the show won't last forever and you know I want I want those souvenirs uh, but I know I of the available merchandise I bought, bought relatively little <laughs> do you get a cut of the rugby merchandise only if it talks with my voice so there's been some dolls that, that use my voice. There's been some uh, video games that use my voice. That I get a cut of, yeah. So with the talking dolls, do they get you to record it yourself or do they just get clips from the show that have already been recorded? Uh, for the dolls, I think they just use pre-existing clips, you know, but they still had to uh, give me a little something for the, for the reuse. And um, so for fans who want to get in contact with you, how do they do that if they want to get like an autograph or anything or just send fan mail? I have a uh, Facebook page. It's, it's William Salyers, which is my professional name. I've got a Facebook fan page, and I'm also uh, at WL Salyers on Twitter. Cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for your time. Thanks very much. I enjoyed it. Cool. Cheers.